Hey, 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 dudes. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Duty. We're talking about an EDC pouch today. Uh, but first of all, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. So, um, this is a good pouch. Uh, I'm not super duper into pouches. Uh, I've seen some folks out there in the EDC world are very into their different pouches, uh, but this is my only real, you know, smaller EDC pouch and it's a very good price very affordable and it does everything that I need it to do um, not uh, not throwing shade at at the uh, EDC pouch people but um, you know I'm not I'm just not super into them um, except for this guy this guy is um, it's awesome so what we're gonna do is we're going to talk about the pouch itself and also talk about what I have inside of the pouch so uh, right off the bat Looking at the outside, we have um, a Velcro area here for sticking on your uh, patches. This one I found on Amazon, thought it looked cool. Um, we have Molly straps here on the outside. We have a larger compartment here in which I have, I think just mostly Band-Aids. Um, this, so this lives in my truck. Um, it's always in my truck and at work I'm always getting little cuts and scrapes and bruises so um, that's why I have uh, band-aids with me um, there's two smaller pouches on either side here in this one I have my ferro rod um, magnesium block and my striker always good to be able to make fire um, that's all that's in the front and then around the back we have these two straps that you could um, hook onto your belt, onto your pack, however you want to use them. They are um, snap buttons here, and then there's more molly underneath that. So tons of different ways to attach this. Um, yet another loop up here. We got another one down on the bottom. So um, lots of options for attaching. Um, we got two zipper pullers. This thing opens um, not like a book, but uh, this way, like long ways I guess you'd say and here's the inside um, so there's uh, elastic straps there's three here and two large ones here then there's these little um, you know pouches to slip things in over here we have a zipper pouch and then back behind all of that there's two larger areas here to store things um, over on this side I found that the field books fit perfectly uh, in there, so I have two of them. I have a little cleaning cloth for cleaning things. <laughs> um, on the other side, I actually have a little Altoids can survival kit. And one of these little, uh, it's like basic uh, survival tips from SE. Or no, not SE. Yeah, SE. <coughs> Or is that Essie? No, that's um, <coughs> Randall's Adventure and Training, Rat. Um, this is just my little Altoids uh, survival can. Um, it's not perfect, but I do have some, I think, pretty useful things in here. This is just um, a spare pen. It's just a refill. It fit perfectly inside there. Um, this is an extra AAA battery for a flashlight that I actually don't have in here anymore, so I might take this out. Um, <clears throat> this is just a little waterproof canister. I have um, some matches, a, 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 a striker uh, strip. I have some dental floss and a needle for sewing repairs. Um, if you're not privy to the whole dental floss as thread deal, um, it's the way to go. It's much stronger than regular thread. And uh, it smells minty fresh. Got some safety pins, um, snap ring, razor blade, um, I have some ibuprofen and I think that's an allergy med right in there. I have a $2 bill for, I guess, whenever you need $2 and for luck maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, then I have a little um, Swiss Army knife. I forget, oh, what are these called? Um, crap. I can't remember what these are called, these little ones. Um, but it's got a knife, a flathead, and little nail file. And then um, scissors over on this side, and your toothpick and uh, tweezers. Um, 
Then I have uh, just a sanitary wipe and then some um, some paper for writing stuff down. Um, so pretty basic, um, you know. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I've seen Altoid survival uh, kind of setups that are much better than this one, but this is kind of what I had laying around that I wanted to throw in here, and um, it fits perfectly in there. So um, that's what's on that side. So let's move on to the front here. I have a uh, a little lube applicator for um, knife maintenance, mostly is what I use that for. I just have a regular um, Sharpie gel pen. I have a pair of titanium tweezers that are much better than the ones in the Victorinox. Um, these are really, really recommendable. I found them on Amazon. It was a set of two, this larger one and then a smaller one for very cheap um, and they're made of titanium. The the tips are, are really good. You know, some tweezers, the uh, you can't really grab tiny things because the, the tips are not the right size or lined up correctly. But these are really good. Um, I'll link these down below. This is my little um, Kershaw Torx set. This is pretty good um, and uh, affordable. I'll, I'll link this below as well. The cap just comes off and you have, um, you know, just your basic bits in here. We have a Phillips and a flathead, and then we have a T10, a T8, and a T6, which typically is all you need for taking apart most knives. So that just lives right on there. It's always nice to be able to take apart your knife on, on the go. Um, I definitely have come into situations where, you know, my pivot came loose or, you know, I needed to clean out the pivot area or whatever. So it's, it's always nice to have that with me. Um, over on this side, I have my QSP Penguin. I picked this knife because it's a really good uh, just utility style knife. Um, this one I kind of turned into more of a, a Warren Cliffy kind of blade by um, straightening this rounded part. So this is a really good utility knife. It's very, very sharp. Um, I just figured it was a, a good knife to have in here. <clears throat> Over here, I have my Leatherman Rev. I bought this because I thought I would carry it day to day, but it turns out it's a little small and not super comfortable um, for hard use. But it is a pretty good slim package. Um, it does have a pocket clip, so you can wear it on your uh, pants. Um, we have an um, accessible blade from the outside, which is nice. Um, that's the only tool that's accessible from the outside. And then on the inside we have, um, let's see, we have a can opener, we have a file, we have a package opener. On this side we have our Phillips and Flathead. Phillips, not a very good one, but in a pinch it'll, it'll work. So um, this is a, a pretty affordable Leatherman though. It's definitely less than 100 bucks. I think they're around like, I don't know, 40 maybe. Um, I'll link, I'll, I'll try to link as much as I can um, down below all this stuff. Um, let's put that back. And that's pretty much the whole package. Um, this is, uh, like I said, it lives in the con uh, yeah, center console of my truck. And I find myself reaching in this, this bad boy quite a bit. Um, this pouch is only like around 25, uh, 25 to 30 bucks, which is pretty crazy. Um, there are EDC pouches out there that are uh, hundreds of dollars, and I'm not sure that they are really better than this one. Um, I'm sure they have features that make it worth 100 bucks, whether it be just the brand name or, or some features that I'm not aware of. But uh, for me, this works perfectly fine, um, holds everything I need it to hold. Uh, nice size and um, yeah it's a uh, it's a great pouch it's called the excellent elite spanker pouch um, excellent elite a little redundant um, I'll link it below it'll be the first thing you see in the description so you can go check one out that's about it it's a nice shorty thanks for watching dudes later